My name is Suresh Raja and I am a board certified head and neck surgeon. I've been in South Florida for uh, 15 years now and my main specialty is uh, sinus and sinus surgeries and more recently office-based sinus procedures. Balloon sinuplasty is an office-based procedure that has been revolutionary in helping patients get rid of their chronic sinusitis, headaches, and uh, the need for a tremendous amount of over-the-counter medications. It's a procedure that utilizes this device right here, and we do it in uh, my office. We've done it many times uh, over the past several years, and uh, essentially it's a device that has two levers on it and the first lever advances a fiber optic wire and this fiber optic wire can be manipulated very precisely to enter the natural openings of six different sinuses in both the front of your head as well as in the back of your head and once we can locate the exact natural opening of these sinuses uh, we advance with the second lever a balloon similar to what they do uh, in, in cardiac catheter surgery and we inflate it to a substantial pressure and what that does is it remodels the bone that surrounds the natural opening which is honeycomb thin sponge like very airy and basically uh, pushes it against the hard skull bones of the face leaving that opening permanently more open and uh, truly the principle behind the balloon sinuplasty is that your nose only works as well as your sinuses work and your nose only breathes as well as your sinuses breathe and this in my opinion is the most excellent way to open up your sinuses in as least traumatic way as possible. A candidate for balloon sinuplasty would be anyone who has what I term a bad nose. And you know, if you have a bad nose, that means you're usually suffering from allergies or repeat infections, can't sleep at night because you can't breathe through your nose, headaches in the front of your face, maybe multiple visits to the primary care doctor, or maybe even urgent care centers. Uh, those are the kind of people that are very easy to find here in South Florida. And those patients would be the perfect candidate for the balloon sinuplasty. The balloon sinuplasty procedure here at uh, Dr. Raja Sinus Relief Center is really a very pleasant one. We make sure that our patients are very comfortable. They really don't feel much of anything. They're going back to work right away, right after the procedure. There is no packing. Uh, there is no risk. Uh, and the results have been really, really excellent. The results for balloon sinuplasty are the equivalent, if not better, than traditional sinus surgery. Uh, it's just that when you eliminate the risk profile and when the recovery is really 5 to 10 percent of what a traditional sinus surgery would be, I would really consider it to be superior. So old-fashioned sinus surgery is a term that has changed over the past couple decades as we exit each generation of the revolution of sinus surgery. Uh, so the way that the traditional sinus surgery can be viewed is a tissue-taking procedure. Mm -hmm. which the difference is that we are removing tissue in traditional sinus surgery, whereas in the balloon sinuplasty, we're remodeling tissue, we're dilating openings that are already there in their natural position with as little trauma as possible. And we found in our experience, the patients that have mainly nasal symptoms surrounding their allergies, even if they could be quite severe allergies, uh, can get better with the balloon sinuplasty procedure. The balloon sinuplasty procedure is really fairly atraumatic. You can expect to go back to work the next day. We've had a couple patients go back to work the same day, uh, but I think just to be safe, it would be best if you just take a day off the day of the procedure, and that would be just fine. And additionally, you can fly. You can fly pretty much after the first week of this procedure, whereas in traditional sinus surgery, you'd have to wait four to six weeks.
Well, the balloon sinuplasty procedure is something that had piqued my interest many years ago, probably about eight years ago, and I really do consider myself to be an early adopter of technology. It's just that the first generation device really only opened up one sinus, that would be the cheek sinus, and it really didn't afford enough uh, relief for me to go forward with it. Uh, about three years ago, a new device was developed which made a lot of sense to me. And uh, once in a while, you see something and it just seems like the right thing to do. And it was one of those moments. And luckily, uh, we, we were correct. And uh, we started doing it much earlier than other sinus surgeons in this area. In fact, uh, I brought the device uh, from, from Miami, from Dade County to Palm Beach County, and because of that, we have a very, very uh, rich experience with it over the past three years.